what is considered socially unacceptable for no reason. Not getting someone a gift when they say that they don't want anything. Running everywhere instead of walking. My dad gets super offended when I put my elbows on the table. I still don't know why. Edit. For those of you wondering if it's cause my dad was beaten for not having table manners. No. While my grandpa was a drunk. He didn't beat his children. Plus. My dad puts his elbows on the table and doesn't reprimand anyone but me. He flicks or hits my elbows off the table when I do it. In some places. Calling in sick. Because it's letting down the team or whatever. Fuck off. I'm sick as a dog. There's little I will accomplish other than feeling like death warmed up. So you aren't missing out on much. Plus I could spread whatever I've got to co-workers. Then we're all sick. Edit. Thanks for the gold kind strangers. Standing on a roof. Sometimes. Why can't I stand on my dang roof? It's my business if I break my legs. Edit. Nudity is illegal. Of course I was clothed. Also. No. They didn't think I was committing not aliveness. Skipping as as an adult. It's unfortunate because it is faster than walking and much more fun than running. Ladies can call their friends her girlfriends. But a man. Absolutely not. Cannot call his friends his boyfriends. That's not fair. Being honest when asked how are you. Refusing generosity. It's perfect all right to politely decline. Even though others would vilify you for being ungrateful and cold. Edit. I am pleasantly surprised to learn everyone's perspectives on this. It seems to be different in other countries. The world doesn't seem so small right now. Wearing a surgical mask when you are sick to prevent giving the illness to others. 40 plus male at a playground. Yes I have no partner. Yes that's my 6 year old kid having a blast. No I'm not a pedo but thank you for your questions and passive glares. Leaving without giving an acceptable song and dance about why you are leaving. With leaving because you have basically reached your limit with socializing being not a good enough reason. People who can stand to be around other people for huge amounts of time. More power to you. But me. I can't do that. And I don't want to have to make up an excuse to do so. Being the first person to get up from your chair when snacks are brought into a meeting room. There's always that one hero that does it though so others can get in line. Waking up at 11 a.m. or later. I'm not lazy. My responsibilities are taken care of. I stay up late and value my sleep hours. Standing backwards in an elevator. Going out for dinner by yourself. Most upvotes I've ever had thank you. Having fun as an adult. Fun has no expiration date. You don't suddenly no longer qualify for fun and have to live a life of watching the news and drinking coffee. People shame adults for doing fun things and that's absolute fucking bullshit. Apparently self-defense isn't allowed in schools. I guess I just have to accept the beating. Talking about the money you make your salary. Walking your cat. Showing distaste for one's family in any way. Shape. Or form. Going out to eat at a restaurant alone. Like. Damn people. I just want a nice meal that I don't have to cook. And wanna enjoy a night out by myself. Edit. Changed me to meal. Didn't notice the typo until 6. Zero 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 of you people decided to blow my phone up. Laying down in public. Edit. Out of all the replies. Nobody has mentioned the way to fix this. A pillow. Simply bust out a pillow and then you get half as many weird looks. Source. Likes to lay. Going to the movies alone. Napping at work during my lunch break. I don't really need food in the afternoon. What I really need is a nap. There are a ton of rules around clothing that are completely arbitrary nonsense. 
and I don't even just mean workplace dress codes and gendered clothing that are obvious bullshit. Even in casual situations. Jeans and a flannel shirt are normal. But if you wore plaid flannel pajama pants and a denim shirt, you would look psychotic. Saying no. Being a virgin. Being single. Some people are okay not being in a relationship for some time and are perfectly happy. But other people just don't understand that. Not drinking alcohol around others who are drinking. People don't like it. Wearing the same clothes two days in a row. Sometimes I need to adjust my dick. Pooping in a public bathroom. It's not necessarily unacceptable but it's something that always elicits a reaction of discomfort and often disapproval. I've definitely heard people loudly exclaim that they could tell someone just took a shit in the bathroom acting all disgusted. I mean. They didn't shit on the floor. They went to the proper pooping receptacle. It just shouldn't mean anything and shouldn't be worth commenting on. People poop in bathrooms. If you're in a public bathroom and you didn't know it, that's where people poop. Stop acting surprised when a bathroom smells like people did what people do in bathrooms. For men to carry purses. Spaghetti straps not being allowed in schools. I DK about other dudes. But shoulders have never turned me on. Men caring about skincare and getting manicures. Edit. Thanks for the award. 3. Being open honest about not having kids. In my personal life I have gotten more ridicule and very pointed questions bordering on disrespectful over being chilled free than about any of my other opinions. Once I said I wasn't having kids my family became obsessed with whether or not I was dating. And who? And oh. What if he wants kids? What if I meet the perfect guy? But he wants kids? Well. Then I guess he's not the perfect guy for me. Simple as that. I don't want kids. And no. I don't have to give you a detailed bullet list about why I'm not having kids because what I decide to do with my uterus is none of your fucking business. Cunt. Playing pretend as an adult without kids involved. There is nothing wrong with an adult man building with Legos and setting up an epic adventure with them that plays out in his head as something amazing. It's escapism and very calming even in adults it stimulates the mind to have a self-made adventure where everything is what I want. Not wearing a bra. Fuck bras. There I said it. Saying no to something without giving an explanation. Going to the car wash for fun. I love car washes and people make fun of it. Edit. Thank you for the silver. I'm going to the car wash just for you, Red Heart. Nudity. Burps. Readjusting your boobs or balls. Realizing you're walking the wrong way and then turning around and going back. Hopping on one leg everywhere you go. Not having social media. Or a date not having social media. And X200B. It's like really you think they are hiding something compared to the posers you do have the option of stalking? Cute. A mom taking her kids to the park is perfectly normal. But if a dad does it, suddenly he's babysitting or a possible pedophile. That's not right. Man. Having dessert before the entree when eating at a restaurant with others. According to a recent post on Reddit. Apparently it's not okay for a man to show affection toward his son. Also. Hats indoors. No one has given me a valid reason why I need to tell students to take their hats off. Saying you're not okay when someone asks how you're doing. Like. I'm sorry my life is a mess and I decided to not lie for once. Never again will I open up even the tiniest bit. Drinking soup. Mostly referring to soup that's mostly broth cream. Directly from a cup or mug and foregoing the unnecessary spoon. We'll never understand it. Wearing a hood. Eating lunch alone in your car at work. It's quiet. Comfortable. And I don't have to make small talk when I'm trying to have some me time out of the office. 
talking to yourself. Not in a crazy way but just mumbling or thinking out loud. Therapy. Life is stressful. Work is stressful. You don't have to be mentally ill to see if a therapist. If you are mentally ill. Congratulations on working up the courage to do so. Using two different socks. Turning down an invitation to go out simply because you'd rather stay home with your pets. Save money. And preserve your mental health in glorious solitude. Being poor. Wearing hats inside buildings. Who fucking cares? Not wanting to hold other PPLS babies. Men showing emotions considered unhealthy. Elbows on table. So this might be a weird one. But I've seen a lot of the adjusting boobs balls act. As a woman. Sometimes when I fart the bubble gets stuck in the front and I have to do a weird stretch walk or literally get handsy to get it out because it's super uncomfortable to walk around with a bubble in my vagina. IDK if it's just me but it happens lol. Eating food like pizza. Burgers. Or fries for breakfast. Discussing your salary. Pooping. We all do it. But we all have to pretend that we don't. I feel like Superman sneaking away to change whenever I need to go. Making up some excuse. Blowing your nose in public in Japan. Men crying. It's seen as a weakness typically rather than compassion. Edit. Or being emotionally physically hurt. In UK. Being happy and forward to strangers and when talking to them or meeting new people. Eating something that's totally possible in one bite. People like me take the most enjoyment out of eating something in one big bite. But other people say that I shouldn't do it. And I should eat it in a lot of bites to take the most enjoyment out of it. Seriously. It's not like I don't enjoy the cake people. It's just that I like it so much that I eat it really fast. Buying beer at 7 a.m. Not everyone works a 9-5. Some people just got off work. I'm a grown man and I love flowers. Not even masculine flowers. I have an orchid collection. Being doing childish things. People on time bombs and magically hate cartoons or roller coasters or any color outside of the monochromatic black or white values. It isn't bad to enjoy playing a bit of My Little Pony fighting is magic after tucking your kid in. Let people enjoy things. People don't live forever and being thrown into an arbitrary box prevents people from enjoying what they, legally and safely, wish to enjoy. Women can dance with each other and that is okay. But when men do it, it's the end of the world. Edit. Grammar. Asking how old someone is. I still don't get this one but if I'm genuinely curious about how old someone is I'm not allowed to ask them and it's really annoying.